a build I like to call the two-way hero. Not only is this the most fun build in the game, but it's the best build in the game. A 100 driving dunk. Yeah, you heard that right. While also being able to shoot from half court, unlocking the best dribble moves in the game to go along with its elite defense perimeterally and interiorly. And yes, you can trust me, that's for sure. Make sure to like and subscribe because we got a bang. YouTube, it's your boy Henry, aka Double H, back at it with yet another banger. And in the background, you are seeing gameplay of my new two way hero build. Okay, now these are driving clips right now. Now, make sure you're subscribed to the channel because 80% of the people that watch my videos, damn, look at that dunk, uh, are not subscribed to the channel. So make sure to sub up, drop a like if this video helps you out at all. Okay, we're going to be going over gameplay right now. We're going to be going over how to make the build. We're going to be going over my bad setup that I would suggest and we're going to be going over the animations that I use on this build, okay? Now, you're looking at some driving clips right now. You're going to see Wreck, you're going to see 1v1, you're going to see par clips throughout this gameplay. Uh, you're going to see clips with driving, shooting, playmaking, and defense, playmaking throughout, driving right now, shooting later, and defense later. Now, look at me. I mean, I'm going crazy. This build has a 100 driving dunk, okay? I'm booming on people. There are not enough clips, to give this satisfaction that this build gives when you use it. This build is going to make this game 10 times more fun to you. You are going to get some crazy animations. And these animations are not just like, oh, a one-time thing where you clip it and it's never going to happen again, really. Like, you're going to see in these clips that I'm getting contact dunks. I'm throwing people on the ground in this same game multiple times. You know, I'm booming on dudes every single game with this build, and that's because it has a 100 driving dunk, and it's probably the most overpowered driving build in the game. I mean, you see I'm dunking on two dudes. I'm dunking on three guys, four guys, one guy. It does not matter how many people are in the paint. I'm throwing it down. Simple as that. I mean, look, I'm doing walk-offs in the rec center. Are we kidding? This build is a demigod. This build is a glitch. This build is a superhero. Okay, that's why I call it the two-way hero because it's literally a superhero type of build. Okay? I mean, look at this. I have a three. I don't care. I'm booming on him. He's going cold. He's getting thrown down. He's going to the floor. You better get out the paint because it's not safe with this build in the game. Now we got some shooting clips for y'all. And yes, this build can shoot from anywhere on the court. It's very consistent. You just need the right jump shot. If you guys see my jump shot, go look up Double H Jump Shot on YouTube. You'll find it. My jump shot is in that video. But yes, we could fade. We could do it all. And you're going to see a lot of dribble. I'm not going to show just dribbling clips alone. You're going to see me dribbling throughout all these clips. So yes, we do get basically every single animation in the game for dribbling. You'll be able to dribble very fast. You get a high, quick first step. But yeah, this build's unguardable. I mean, you just saw the driving clips. So if I'm driving like that, and now you're watching these shooting clips and you're seeing me shoot this consistent. We're going to show a full game of me shooting consistent too, just in case you can't, you're not buying the clips. Then how do you guard this build? Because you have to respect its drive because it's just so overpowered. But then you have to guard the three. It's just not fair. And you do get all kinds of takeovers on this build. Yes, you get slash take. You do get sharp take. You can put on lock take. You get all those takeovers, okay? I mean, look at me going crazy. I can do whatever I want on this build. Look at pump fake. We shooting over those, okay? This build is insane. You can shoot fadeaways too. Don't forget it. You see me in the rec center going crazy. And if you're worried about the free throw, look at this. 0.3 seconds left. Tie game. Game on the line. I hadn't even upgraded my free throw yet. It goes to like a 67 or something. This one had a 43 free throw. Just put on Michael Jordan free throw if you're worried about the free throw rating on this build. And green. That's game. That's ball game, okay? Now, we can shoot very consistent. You see, I get an open look. Any kind of space you get, you can green on this build. Look how deep I'm shooting. I mean, that is beyond the hash mark. Way beyond it. Once again, I can fade. I'm shooting fading yellows. I can shoot pull-up front fade threes. You can shoot any shot you want with this build as long as you're timing it. Look, where is he going? That's a green. And he's going to be jumping like that knowing how I can shoot. Look, I'm shooting over two people. I mean, it's just not fair. We're fading. We're, we're shooting over people. We're shooting from half court. We're literally doing it all with this build when it comes to shooting. Now, I'm going to show a full gameplay right here. Um, we're going to go through it very fast. And this game, I win seven for seven. First place, spin back. He's jumping. Where are you going? 
Now remember, this builds a hundred driving dunk. And in this gameplay right here, I shoot only three pointers. Okay. I want you guys to understand that of how crazy this build is. Look at third three pointer. It's up is green. So now we three for three fast forward a little bit. We going over here. Where is he going? Step back. We can shoot from that deep green. Now we four for four. Now if you want the drill animations, I want to show them in this video. Next three, five for five. Let's pull up the stats. Just so y'all know, five for five. Only threes. We get the ball again. Going over here. No energy. Step back. Green. Six for six. We fast forward a little bit. Get a horrible animation right there. Doesn't matter. Seven for seven. This build can shoot. Now on to some defensive clips. You're also going to see in a lot of these clips that I'm just messing around because this build is that fun. You can guard the rim runners. You can guard the three-point shooters. You are very fast laterally on this build. You're going to be able to put dudes in a box. You're going to make dudes look bad on this game. You're going to make them look like they're trash, okay? Because they're not doing that stuff they're doing against other builds on this build because this build is more of a lockdown than anything. I mean, obviously, this best thing is driving, but this build is a lockdown, okay? It can play crazy good defense, and I'm not even using any locker rim takeovers. I mean, look at the animations. I'm forcing these dudes. I'm getting steals. I'm getting animations from the back where I can block them or get them out of a dunk animation. I can blitz people with this build. I can get contest perimeterly and interiorly with this build. This build can do everything defensively. Now, if you are worried about the rebounds with this build, I have not noticed a single issue with rebounds. I feel like this, this is a point guard build. So maybe other people don't upgrade the rebound as much, but I haven't noticed it. Look at spin. Where are you going off that steal? Hammer time. We get the ball right here. Easy fade away three. They're going into their half court or they're going into their full court offense right here. That's a steal. And then we boom it on you. I mean, this build can literally do everything. Oh, you inbounded it? Give me that. Now we playing around with you off the backboard. Hey, come on now. More defense right here. I force him to pick up the ball. Res goes into a steal. Fast break. That's a slam. But hold on. We not done yet. Now they trying to bring up the ball. Right? We get him back on defense. Oh, he's almost got ripped. I get the ball again. That's another easy steal. Off the backboard again. Hey, stop playing. Get that out of here too. We can we can block. We can swat stuff too. Another block right there. This build has the defense. It has the dribbling. It has the driving. It has the shooting. There's nothing this build can't do. I mean, look at the stats at some of the end of these games. I'm making these dudes shoot horribly. This dude right here was rim running the whole game. He still shot terrible. I mean, come on. Okay, y'all. So now we are about to show you guys how to make the build. Now, if you skip to this part, I would highly recommend to go watch the gameplay as well. If you are concerned about any of the stats that you see here, you go on and go watch the gameplay. Go ahead and do that. I went point guard. If you want, you could go like shooting guard, small forward. But personally, I always like to be at the point guard position in rec and 3v3 modes. And of course, 2v2 as well. But anyways, hand this. This is personal preference. You can go right right left whatever hand you shoot better with that's what i would go with so i'm going with left and of course number one for d rose now we got the body settings now this is a six foot eight build it's actually my first six eight build of the year but six eights are very popular they're definitely a very good height to go with in this game now with the weight we are gonna want to go all the way to minimum 180 pounds which can get our physicals up to an 85 speed and 82 accelerations which is super fast in this game for six eight and then wingspan we're just gonna go max wingspan now i already know what you're thinking you're thinking oh you don't get silver limitless which is an 85 three-pointer trust me the max wingspan is gonna make your defense way better it's also gonna make your finishing way better and trust me limitless range might be the most overrated badge in this game unless you're like a 6-1 guard that's shooting from like really really deep i mean y'all saw me in the clips i could shoot from mad deep with bronze limitless i was doing just fine but if you do want to adjust and go to seven and five just to get that 85 three-pointer you can go ahead and do that if that's what you're comfortable with but we're going seven six for this build and body shape i went with defined now moving on to the upgrades now a lot of you probably get extra badges somewhere so i am going to show you where i put my extra badges and stuff and what badges i use in the first place but the stats are the most important thing on this build so of course we're going to start with that 99 driving dunk yes this is a 100 driving dunk build because i'm assuming most of you have like a plus 
best one sleeve in something. You could, there's like three of them total if you did the Jordan challenges, but some of y'all probably don't have even one of those, which is fine. 99 driving dunk it is. You want to go to an 80 layup so you can get Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, and then a 76 shot close so you can get fast twitch a couple extra badges as well which is going to give you the 18 finishing and that's going to be it for finishing right there another thing you want to do is take that three pointer all the way to an 83 there you could go to 84 for an extra badge but we're not going to do that we're going to go to 83 because trust me 16 shooting badges is way more than enough but we are going to get an extra badge in shooting later in this upgrade i'm just going to show y'all what i do first so going on to playmaking we're going to go with 85 ball handle which is going to give us a gold quick first step i tried to get hall of fame quick first step on this build but honestly it's not worth the sacrifice because if we went from hall of fame to gold our defense got 10 times better and if we went from gold to hall of fame our defense got a lot worse speed ball we're gonna go with a 75 so we can get michael jordan dribble style there's no point to go past that and pass that you're see we're gonna go to a 75 so we get lebron james passing style no point going past that unless you're going to 85 or 90 pass accuracy so that's gonna give us 19 playmaking badges which once again is way more than enough now perimeter defense we're gonna go to an 86 perimeter defense so we get that silver clamps and gold challenger and hall of fame workhorse and then we're gonna go with an 85 steal especially after the patches for steals there's definitely not no point to go past 85 steel in my opinion so we're gonna get silver glove and silver interceptor with that and then we're gonna get an 88 block now you're probably wondering why not go 87 well 88 not only gives us that silver anchor but it gives us hall of fame chase down and i've noticed on this build specifically i don't know if it's because this build can jump high or something but the chase down blocks on this build are crazy and i do run hall of fame chase down artists now we're gonna leave the interior defense at a 68 and probably the worst thing about this build is the rebounding the rebound is gonna stay like this i mean i am a point guard at the end of the day and if you're uncomfortable with the low rebounding you could probably sacrifice some steel or maybe another attribute that you don't think you would use as much and put some rebounding on the build but this is how i made it now with the acceleration you're definitely gonna want to max the acceleration to an 82 because this is how fast your player moves with the ball and i also feel like this stat helps you move laterally on on defense faster as well so definitely want to max that out and then the speed can go up to an 85 but i only put it to an 81 which is more than enough and then the vertical we're going to want to go with an 82 vertical so we can unlock all those contact dunks you get at 99 and then the stamina to a 95 now as you can see i'm still at 98 overall so there is a couple other things i could do you're probably looking at the stats oh maybe i could upgrade the pass accuracy steel but these things only go up like one and then it's done so it doesn't there's no way to get like some extra badges except for shooting i'm gonna put my mid-range to a 69 that's gonna give us an extra shooting badge and then with the rest of these stats i'm gonna put stamina to a 97 and then free throw to a 61 and this is exactly how i made the build now if you want to mess around and change some things like maybe put up the rebound maybe get that speed to an 85 or maybe change the wingspan down one and get an 85 three-pointer that's totally fine you can make your own changes to this build but this is how i made it now i am going to go over the badges in a second here but the takeovers are crazy on this build the only takeover that i could see that you could complain about not getting on this build is rim protecting take which you could probably get if you change the position of this build but you get slashing take you get sharp take you even get playmaking take and some of these playmaking takes overs are actually really underrated especially if you play 5v5 and you get lockdown take so you really get some of the best takeovers in the game all on this build now i usually run the same two takeovers on this build all the time now i do switch up whether one is primary or the other is secondary sometimes but easy blow buys i'm telling you is the best slashing takeover this takeover is going to allow your dunk meter to have a massive green window and you're also going to blow pie people very fast with the combination of silver clamp breaker very good badge so that's my favorite takeover in the game now especially with this build and then secondary limitless range of course is going to make you shoot from way deep like you have hall of fame limitless range crazy good takeover and sometimes i flip flop it put limitless primary and easy blow by secondary but either way that's what i would suggest i don't think you need to put on lock takeover the defense is too crazy if you do want to put on one of the playmaking takeovers i would suggest 
team ratings boost that one's a very good one but other than that this is what i would go with i do think easy blow buys is much better than finishing moves and advanced gathers especially if you're using the dunk meter which is a big thing you should be using on this build anyways we're gonna go ahead and complete the build and this is what i like to call the two-way hero build it is a hero to me it is definitely a two-way that's for sure compared to drew holiday who's a lockdown defender tyrese halliburton lonzo ball some great point guards in the nba and you're gonna get the build name inside out score now it's time to go over the best badge setup for this build and what badges you should use and shouldn't use and i'm also going to show you where i put those extra badges and where i put my core badges as well once we get into my build in the park now this is assuming that you don't have any of the core patterns unlocked or any extra badges this is the badge setup you would use now you're going to start with wanting to put fearless finisher on silver rise up on bronze and fast twitch on silver an acrobat on bronze now fast twitch and rise up is going to allow you to go up with standing dunks and dunks under the basket extremely fast this is very useful on the fast break as well fearless finisher obviously going to finish through contact better an acrobat if you do go up with a bad layup you can spam x or square depending on what console you're on and it's going to give you an acrobat layup and that's going to allow you to finish those better and then of course with the tier three badge you're going to want to put on hall of fame post riser we're going to core that and then Hall of Fame Limitless Takeoff, so you can jump from the free throw line basically every dunk. And that's gonna be your bad setup right there. Now with the shooting badges, you're gonna wanna put Agent 3s on silver, Green Machine on gold. Those are the two most important shooting badges. Then you're gonna wanna put Bronze Amps for now. Then you're gonna unlock the tier three badge. You're gonna wanna put on Limitless Range, which you're gonna wanna core. Now you could get another tier three badge here, but honestly, I don't think any of these three badges are worth having on this specific build. So I would go back to the tier ones, completely max out amp to gold. And then it's up to you. You can either put on clutch shooter hall of fame or volume shooter hall of fame. Clutch shooter is going to activate, you know, when it's clutch time in the game and volume shooter is going to activate if you shoot the ball a lot. So if you shoot the ball a lot like me, I want to put volume shooter hall of fame and clutch shooter bronze. And obviously amped is going to help you shoot shots better when you're tired. Agent threes is literally just pops up every time you shoot the ball by far the most important badge. And of course, once you start green, you want to get hot. You want to keep shooting, right? So green machine is going to help you out with that. And then obviously limitless range. So you can shoot from a little deeper without takeover. So that's the shooting badge setup. And then we're going to go on to the playmaking badge setup. Of course, you're going to want to get quick first step maxed out which is on gold so you can move right off that dribble super fast i like to put on bailouts and silver needle threaders so my passes are better and i can pass out of bad shots and then we're gonna go ahead and core gold unpluckable and then put on silver handles for days and then you could put on either bronze dimer floor general break starter hyper type whatever you want i was put on bronze dimer now i did talk about earlier in the video about clamp breaker i'm gonna show you how my bad setup i do get clamp breaker on silver as well but if you don't have any of that extra stuff, this is the setup I would run. And then defense and rebounding. First thing you're going to want to do is obviously put that Hall of Fame chase down artist. I mean, like I said earlier in the video, it's insane on this build. I don't know if it's just because it can jump high or something. It's crazy. Then we're going to put on silver glove. Now, if you do have extra badges, this is when that would come in handy because on my setup, I do have gold challenger. But if you don't have any, you're going to have to core silver challenger and then put on silver clamps. I would probably even lower chase down to maybe silver so you can get other badges like workhorse on silver or maybe put interceptor on. But yeah, this is a bad setup similarly that I would go with. All right, but now that we're in the park, I can show you my bad setup and where I put my extra badges at. So let's go ahead, look at the attributes. Now, this is what I got right now. I do have sleeves on so i'd get a higher three-pointer higher steel and my dunks going up to 100 right now it just does it doesn't actually show past 99 but it is at 100 right now this is what i have upgraded i could max out the mid-range i don't see a reason to it's way too expensive and i already hit every mid-range shot see so yeah, i do have the build maxed out right now y'all know i don't drop build videos unless i max it out and i know the build is good and like i said i'd be rocking these takeovers i do have accelerator and i do recommend running jump shot boost it just makes your player better but i you know luckily won some events and i have some unlimited boost but anyways to the badges this is the finishing bad setup i am going with right now now eventually when i do core am able to core limitless takeoff i'm gonna go ahead and change my core badge pattern to the one with double finishing because you don't need a core for shooting in my opinion on this build at all and then i'll be able to core limitless takeoff post riser and i'll have hall of fame slithery finisher which will make the build even better but until then i don't have limitless takeoff core yet but when i do i'll do that but until then we're gonna leave it like this so this is the setup i got this is the shooting badge setup i have right now sometimes i switch this 
to Hall of Fame volume shooter. And I really don't even think you need a core for this. For example, like, when I uncore this, I just take this off. I can put this on, take this off. And I feel like this is way more than enough. Like I don't need, like I don't need another core badge in shooting. Like I really don't. So when I get that finishing, I'm gonna go from this core badge pattern, which is the regular pattern, to this one, and I'll get that Hall of Fame slurry finisher as well because I really don't think I need it. But for now, I'll keep the extra shooting badges and core green machine and have the volume shooter and clutch shooter as well. Now, have you noticed I put plus four badges to playmaking, which allowed me to get silver clamp breakers. So I have three tier three badges under here. This is the setup I'm running right now for playmaking. And then defense, if you do have any extra badges to put on, put it on defense before playmaking and definitely don't put any on shooting or finishing. I put three extra badges on finishing, so a total of six extra badges. And I don't have gold challenger core yet, but once I unlock the core for gold challenges, I'll get an extra badge, which I'll probably either go to glove with or maybe just up my workhorse. But yeah, right now I'm rocking gold challenger, silver anchor, hall of fame chase, silver interceptor, and silver workhorse. And if I'm on the ones I'll put silver glove on instead of interceptor. But yeah, those are the badges I'm running now i'm gonna show y'all the animations as well that i'm currently using on the build these are the animations i got if you want my layup style my hop jumper my playmaking moves here's everything right here make sure to drop a like on the video for me showing this to y'all here are all the dunks i do have equipped i have quick drops off one i have my elite and pro contact dunks i have my regular standing dunks equipped and for signature dunks i only have clyde drexler lebron and michael jordan equipped and then of course i have some alley-oops like zion williamson elite pro pro contact and elite contact and flashy and jordan Anyways, if you want the jump shot of that music for this build, make sure to click the video on your screen, drop a like on this video, subscribe to the channel if I helped you out at all, and I'm out of here, y'all. Peace.